Hello. Good afternoon. I'm Andrea with Happy Cloud Creations. And I'm jumping on just so I can kind of go over the Infinite Night Helix quilt along really quick. Um, let's see. Um, let's see if I can jump. If you jump on, say hi so I can see if I can see comments. I, I always forget. I think sometimes it won't show comments if I log in as my business name. It only shows it if I log in as my person. So I got it on my phone. So if you're on, say hi. Um, so the quilt along starts next Tuesday, um, September 13th. I just wanted to kind of go over it, see if you guys have any questions about the quilt along. Um, the Infinite Night Helix pattern, I do recommend um, it for more of intermediate, intermediate quilters. Um, just because if you're a beginner quilter and you've never made a quilt or if you've only done like a couple, there are so many different blocks in this just to make this the helix design so that's a lot of pieces and a lot of blocks um, to keep organized and so if you um, sew things not in the correct order and stuff it can be frustrating and if you don't keep organized so one of my testers Peggy she said that um, one of her tips was to stay organized from the beginning so after you cut out all your pieces actually like label each one of those and when I label mine I just cut a little piece of paper and say what size that is what color that is like a four and a half by four and a half um, and I just take a pin and pin that to that stack of fabric just so that um, when I'm referring to it I know oh, okay I remember this is my a this is my B this is my C and um, that's also why this is the paper pattern so um, if you were to fill out your coloring sheet, um, you could also refer to this, okay, my D is this color, um, my A is this color, my B is this color. Um, so it has the baby size, which you can see has no side panels, which means baby size, baby size lap size um, has no flying geese. So if somebody hates flying geese, you may want to try the lap size, which um, I have it right here for size reference. I posted a picture with my kids holding it. I'm 5'4 and 3 fourths, so almost 5'5. Five five. And let's see. It's on the ground right now, and it comes to my lips, a little, or I guess my chin. And it's touching the ground. So it comes to my chin, and I'm 5'5, five, almost 5'5. Five five. Um, but this is the baby size. The actual center column is a little shorter and there's no side columns. So that means that um, you're not doing the flying geese and you won't be doing all the weeks that everyone else is doing because the quilt along is going along with the bigger sizes that, you know, have all three columns. Um, if there's any questions, let me know, okay? Um, so I still need to baste mine. This is the backing fabric that I'm going to be using for my baby size, which I think that's gonna look really cool. Um, it's out because I need to do that. Um, all right, so keep organized from the get-go. Label all your pieces. I sometimes don't do that, but I'm making the quilt so my colors go along with the pattern. Um, but this time I will be using these colors, my background is going to be the black, and then my helix is gonna be A is white, B is red, and then my C is going to be yellow. So sometimes when I use different colors than the pattern suggests, um, I will just write that on the pattern too sometimes. Black, red, yellow, white, to help me keep organized. Um, or you can cut out each like a little square of each one and put it on your coloring sheet, glue it to it and put A, B, C, D, and E. That way you can be like, okay, this is my A, this is my B, this is my C, and this is my D. 
Um, let's see. So next week we'll be cutting all the pieces. M me personally, I'm only going to be cutting the pieces and the background pieces. I'm not gonna cut the pieces that go around the blocks or my border fabric. I'm gonna wait to do that until um, all my blocks are done, just so that um, it's easier that way for me. Um, if you wanna cut those pieces, um, I suggest if you your blocks don't always end up the intended size, the correct size, Maybe you should hold off on cutting those pieces, but if your blocks always end up the correct size, um, that's why I recommend the um, scant fourth inch seam. So test your seams. There's a little, on the very first page, it says how to test your seams up here on basic instructions. Um, also, make sure to read all the basic instructions. Um, it, there are some new things in here that aren't haven't been in my previous patterns. I kind of updated this section, so um, make sure to read that before starting your quilt, um, before cutting, before everything. Also, when you go to cut your fabric, there are little instructions below as well. So you wanna read those before you start cutting because that pertains to actually cutting the fabric. Um, but I'll go over those next week. I don't know. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. Um, I'm trying to think if there was anything I wanted to tell you guys. I'm really excited to start this quilt along with you. I'm making the king size for my bed. I've never made a king size before, so I'm pretty excited about it. Um, lots of cutting and lots of fabric. Um, the person I, the shop that I bought it from only sells yard increments, so it's nine yards of black fabric. That's a lot of fabric. Uh, so I'm excited to start cutting into it. Uh, if you have your fabrics, take a photo, post it in the group. Everybody wants to see what fabrics you're gonna be using. Um, uh, and then next week, so next week, start of the quilts along, I'll jump on here, I think Tuesday, at like 10.30 probably. Um, to kind of give tips on cutting, I'll post a blog post and then I'll send out an email as well, an email reminder, um, just to let everyone know, yay, it saves the first day of the quilts along. Um, and then once you get your fabrics all cut, take a picture of your fabrics and post it in the group. Um, it's fun to see everybody else's fabrics and work on it together. I know it helps motivate me, um, so hopefully it'll help motivate you too. Um, I think that's it. Uh, so yeah, post your pi pictures. If you have any questions, you can email me at happycloudcreations at gmail.com. The pattern will be 15% off through the 13th, and then after that it will be 10% off through the rest of the quilt along. So if you want to get it at 15% off, make sure to grab it before Tuesday. If you um, ordered a paper pattern, they can take 7 to 10 days to get to you. So... Um, I know a couple of people have emailed me and said, where's my pattern? And it had only been like two, three days. So look at your calendar because UPS doesn't, sometimes they don't run on Saturday and Sunday. Um, I think that's it. I hope you guys have a great day and I will talk to you next Tuesday on the first day of the quilt song. Goodbye.